The Zill 2906 was a tank-like amphibious vehicle that seemed to have come straight out of a science fiction movie. Created with the sole purpose of retrieving cosmonauts and space pods from the Soyuz program that landed back on Earth, the colossal screws of the Zill crushed everything that stood in their way. The groundbreaking vehicle's reach was so destructive that the Soviets kept it a secret, even from their own forces. Tanks. World War I gave way to some of humanity's most outstanding military technological achievements. Tanks were first used by the British. They were inspired by farm tractors, which used tracks to make their way through difficult terrain. On a military basis, tanks revolutionized ground combat after they were first seen by soldiers moving slowly through the muddy landscapes of no man's land. Those slow and clunky tanks evolved into authentic juggernauts that had tremendous effectiveness when coupled with the support of infantry and airplanes. During the first years of World War II, the Blitzkrieg doctrine made the German Panzers and Tigers practically invincible. Other tanks also evolved to be used in amphibious assaults. The Marines successfully used half-tracks, LVTs, and other vehicles to land men, supplies, and Sherman tanks on Japanese islands during the Pacific Theater. Over the years, armies across the world developed tanks for several uses, such as anti-armor or anti-air vehicles. The Soviet Union even secretly developed colossal tanks that could dig underground like mole rats to attack its enemies where they least expected it. Soyuz Program The Soviet Soyuz Program was the USSR's third human spaceflight project. Following the Vostok Program's resounding success that launched the first man into orbit, and the Voskhod Program that launched the first three-man crew into space, Soyuz was the next step in declaring Russian supremacy in the space race. As part of the moon landing program, the objective of Soyuz was to build a spacecraft that could successfully land a cosmonaut on the moon. Like the Voskhod, the Soyuz could only carry three men. Russian engineers divided the spacecraft into two parts, the capsule and the rocket. After conducting a mission in orbit, the capsule with the three men on board would make its way back to Earth through the atmosphere. Using a combination of parachutes and small rockets to slow them down before landing, the capsules would rarely land in the specific place they were expected to. No matter the conditions, the cosmonauts expected to be picked up. The Zill 2906 Early spacecraft missions showed that capsules with cosmonauts returning to Earth would often land on remote locations with rugged terrain that made extractions a time-consuming operation. Natural obstructions such as snow, rocks, hills, and trees were difficult objects to overcome, even for the heavy-duty military trucks employed by the rescue and recovery teams. With that in mind, Soviet engineers began to experiment with various vehicle configurations that could surpass such obstacles with ease. The result of years of investigation led to the Zill 2906. Produced by the company Zavod Imeni Lakachyva, better known as Zill, in the early 1970s, it was a tank-like amphibious vehicle that could travel across any terrain. Its look, functions, and engineering made it unique in the world. Instead of using the conventional wheels of any heavy-duty truck or the tracks of modern tanks, the Zill was equipped with two large and heavy cylinders with a screw on them. The cylinders greatly resembled the early Archimedes ship propellers. The mechanics behind them were simple. Each screw turned in the opposite direction to the other, this motion would counteract their lateral forces and generate a forward movement. The Zill used two 77-horsepower VAZ engines to power the screw system. It had two four-speed manual transmissions and two levers on the driver's seat's left and right sides to rotate the screws. Each screw could also be turned individually using one of the two foot brakes located in the cabin. On top of the screws, a rectangular cabin with three windows was used to house the driver, a doctor, and enough space for two cosmonauts in the back. The driver was at the front of the cabin with the controls and levers to power the vehicle. He also had access to a full-time radio station and a portable radio to receive and transmit updates related to the cosmonauts' rescue missions. Behind the driver's seat was the doctor's seat, where two cosmonauts could lay in supine position above stretchers. The entire cabin was equipped with a heater system and insulated panels to keep the interior warm. 
The Zell screw tank was transported to the mission area by a Bluebird 6x6 carrier truck equipped with a crane on the back. It took about 20 minutes to fully deploy the vehicle and another half hour to warm the engines if the temperature was below negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The screw tank excelled at traveling through snow, water, muddy terrain, ice, and swampy areas. It could easily destroy slender trees that were part of the brushes and dense vegetation. But it was not without its faults. Big and pointy rocks were often a problem for the vehicle. Cosmonauts also complained that even if the cabin was warm, some aluminum sections of the hull were ice cold when they were picked up. Still, the Zill 2906 came to the rescue, being able to crush their way against any obstacle. About 20 screw tanks were produced between the 70s and the 90s before the Iron Curtain fell. The vehicle was kept secret, and only those related to the Soyuz program knew of its existence. Less than five of them exist today.